And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Number 16, Rob Holding. Number three, Well, the defenders will certainly have done their homework, Stuart, and on that basis, must keep more than a weather eye on Lacazette. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. The initial 11 for Wolves. Luca Digne plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the match is underway. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress, but nothing comes of it. So for Wolves, you have to conclude everything went to plan in their win against Watford. How might this play out, Stuart? Well, that 2-0 victory at home was not as easy as the scoreline suggests. They were just better in both boxes, but today will be much harder for them. If they play with energy and resilience, I think they're going to draw out of this game. Mount. Well-timed tackle. Jesse Lingard. It's with Joao Cancelo. And Wolves in a position of menace. And let's give credit to the defending. Thomas Nelson a chance to whip it in well still an issue here and problem solved for now Jack Grealish Lingard was a save Now sending it in, attending to his defensive chores. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, sadly, you've got to say it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. Saka. Arsenal being afforded too much room. El Nenny. Bukayo Saka. It's with Awar. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Partey. Nelson. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. 
Well, the situation has changed in the Chelsea game. There's been a goal there. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Brighton. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. They've scored the opener here with 25 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. With the owner of the blue card registration, BG04, D-O-M, please turn your lights off. Can they forge ahead? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Now can they counter clinically? Might be able to set up the chance. Taking care of business defensively here. What can they do from here? In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And a no-nonsense clearance. Sané. Neves. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Who can they pick out? And no-nonsense defensive clearance. And nicely struck. Well, no mistake from the keeper, acting decisively. Ruben Neves. Sané. Just the clearance that was called for. Can he convert? Well, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. They've regained possession. Lacazette. El Nenny. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Determined defending. It will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front in this game. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Well, no end product. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Leroy Sané, so pacey and talented, but is he going to be a bit disappointed with his own performance? Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Thomas Partey, Lacazette, pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Now possibilities in the centre, they've got it now, what can they do? Leroy Zane. Not fantastic defending, let's see if it helps the opposition. Precision and style, superbly done. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. going to be a double substitution and back underway 1-0 it is Saka 
El Nenny with it. Awar. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Now to the front post. Well, it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Keeper not concentrating. Veghorst. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Danger averted for now. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Space for Wolves out wide. Opportunity here. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Arsenal could threaten from this position. Went in strongly to win the ball. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. Saka. Tierney. He might yet finish. Cuts it back. And it's gone in. Beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy. Doesn't he? And a double substitution it's going to be. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Oh, big chance! Oh, splendid stop from Leno in goal. Saka. And into the last 20 minutes. Wolves have it back. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Wolves facing Manchester United. Well, a change to the scoreline in the Chelsea game. Let's get the news from Alex. It's a goal for Brighton. He shot far post. The keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in position. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. To confirm, Brighton have scored in that match. And they're locked together in a thriller now at 2-2. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. So a personnel change then. Now the delivery. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Veghorst. Hashem Awar. And on to Pepe. High quality goalkeeping, and still they lead. Well, that's a great save. That could be the match winning stop there. And over it comes. Well, not quite the ideal delivery. Well, I believe there's been a goal at the Kayan Prince Foundation Stadium. Let's join Alex Scott for an update. It's a goal from Manchester City. It's now 1-0 with under... Can he finish them off? There's still danger here. 
And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Well, this is building up to a nail-biting finish. These Arsenal fans are making so much noise. Can they get the equaliser here? Well, that piece of play very easy on the eye. And successfully cut out. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Takes it on! And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Veghorst. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Struggle to get it away properly. So the referee says that will do it for this match anyway. And it goes into the history books as a win for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game. But they were the better side over the 90 minutes. And they fully deserved their victory today. Well, not for the first time. Luka Jovic carried out his duties with ease. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.